Hello everybody, this is Budridge and this video will be about this new program here, KeyD. Uh, KeyD, I think it was created and released here just a, like a month ago, August 4 was this release. Not sure how I found this um, repository because I did quite a while ago or it must have been here when they created it. I, I, I don't know, I don't remember. But I've had it in the in the back of my uh, mind that this is probably something worth uh, investigating what this program is about because I think I might find it very useful. And guess what? It was very useful. It solved uh, a couple of very annoying issues for me. Um, and I also <laughs> almost uh, broke my computer today. I will tell you all about it. It's all related. Um, so what this is... Uh, we can read the description here. Linux lacks a good key remapping solution. In order to achieve satisfactory results, a medley of tools need to be employed. For example, Xcape, Xmodmap. This is not true, by the way. You can uh, do everything with the built-in Xkb uh, uh, tools that you have to use anyway. So in one way, this is not. It's a bit false news, these examples, but whatever, with the end result often being tethered to a specific environment, X11. That is true. And that is annoying. That is the issue that this solved for me. We get back to it. KeyD attempts to solve this problem by providing a flexible system with a wide daemon, which remaps keys using kernel level input primitives, EVDev input, EVDev and U input. Uh, so it, use, it, it works on the kernel level to remap the keys, meaning it is independent of the environment the keys are pressed in. It only needs the Linux kernel, kind of. Uh, meaning it will work in X11, Wayland and the virtual console. Um, Alright, uh, let's uh, make a quick recap here of my keyboard situation. This is uh, my keyboard. It looks like this, except it's black. Um, the Nordic layout uh, on a hardware level. I have the same characters printed on my keys. I uh, cannot use the Nordic layout. I have said it so many times and I will not go down that uh, uh, path here now, but I can't use the Nordic layout. So I apply the US layout instead. God damn it, now I don't have an image of a US layout, but you know how that looks probably. Uh, one thing that's different uh, and th this is also not true for the Swedish layout or Nordic layout. We can open this uh, image also. This is uh, uh, the ThinkPad keyboard uh, I have on the laptop. Uh, you see Escape is here and then here is this weird key. No one knows why this is here, but this is here on, on Nordic keyboards. So you can write this paragraph symbol. But on the US layout, this is the tilde or grav key. Um, so on this 60% uh, keyboard that I have, they have just removed that completely unnecessary stupid key here and put the escape key there. And that, that kind of makes sense. But it wouldn't make sense if the tilde key was, <laughs> was this key, you know, because you needed the tilde key or the grav key. Uh, so that means if I apply the US layout, I don't have a tilde or grav. Uh, character to print anywhere um, because this is not a normal key it's the escape key that is moved down here um, so that's one issue doing that but it's still worth it because it's you cannot use the Nordic layout I, I still I would still do this if, if uh, even if I couldn't solve it but you can easily solve it you know you can remap the escape key uh, to be the tilde key I have done that it works fine and has been doing that for since I got the keyboard. Uh, and then I moved escape down to caps lock. Done that, works fine. Been using it forever. Um, another stupid thing with this 60% keyboard, and I guess every other 60% keyboard, is that you don't have arrow keys, you know? So the solution on this model is that you press this function button here and shift, and then you enter a hardware layer. So you can use these uh, four keys here. Uh, as arrow keys. You can see the arrow symbols here. And sure, that would kind of work for me if there would be any way to uh, know that this layer, uh, hardware layer, was uh, active. It isn't, so it's... Uh, I, I, I tried to use it at first, but uh, couldn't use it because uh, there were no way of knowing if the arrow key layer was uh, active or not. Um, except remembering I had activated it, you know. Uh, and this key next to the right shift on a US keyboard, that is a slash or question mark uh, key, you know, so you press that all the time. 
and it's very annoying if, if that all of a sudden is the up arrow uh, key. So can't use that. My solution was to make this key, which is an extra key on the Nordic uh, keyboards, this one, uh, make that a modifier instead. Since I'm using the US layout, I already have this uh, angle brackets on, on, on these keys. Uh, so I use this as a modifier and holding that modifier, then I can press HAKL to emulate the, the arrow keys instead. And I've been using that as well, and it has been working fine, and I have even gotten used to this. I, I didn't use this before, but now uh, this, this is like uh, already built into my muscle memory to, to use uh, these as arrow keys together, together with this modifier. And I even do it on the laptop. Uh, I'm not using the arrow keys, I'm using that method instead. Of, I think it's better. Um, so what's the problem? What is the problem, you might ask? Well, the problem is that it only works in X. I, I have been using this as my uh, personal repository here. It's uh, public, so you could use this if you want, and it's, it works fine. It's actually quite great uh, to create advanced uh, keyboard layouts. Uh, so you can use arrow keys, for example, and with that layer. And this is what I've been using. Uh, you can remap, remap caps lock to be escape and control and stuff like that. But it only works in X. Uh, when I log out of X uh, and is in the uh, virtual console, it doesn't work. Uh, and that means I cannot write tilde in the virtual console. I have to use this awkward thing for, for arrow keys. I constantly press caps lock when I mean escape. It's terrible. I really don't uh, like being in the virtual console with this keyboard. It's uh, uh, and I was about to to throw it out actually because of this because it's very annoying. Um, but the solution would be, of course, be to uh, add that functionality to the virtual console as well. And you can do that. You can create the, here is the Arch Wiki for um, that stuff. How to configure the keyboard in the virtual console and it is not like impossible and you can actually do do all of the things I want to do I think so I'm not sure about the arrow keys but maybe but the thing is all of these configurations are so awkward to work with it took me a very long time to to get the, this working it was a lot of reading and experimenting to get this uh, stuff working it's it's just a stupid keyboard you know you, I wish there would be a, a better way uh, and the better way is uh, this thing, the key D, daemon, since it works on, on this uh, uh, kernel level, you can use it with the same uh, configuration for both X, uh, Wayland, uh, Virtual Console, whatever. Um, and I tried it today and it works fine. Uh, here is my configuration or somewhere is my, here it is. Uh, so remapping caps lock would look like this. Uh, overload means that uh, it will be both a, a modifier and a escape key here. So control while held, escape when you tap. Uh, remaps escape to grub, uh, which is the tilde key, you know, so that works. Uh, 1, 0, 2, and D. For some reason, I'm not sure why, that is the name of this uh, extra key. So this one is named that. Uh, here I create a layer, uh, a custom layer called bud, and then these are the keys in that layer. So pressing H, A, K, L uh, is left down upright. And these are the arrow keys. And here I remap P, P and O to page up and page down also in this layer. So just holding that extra key, I can do this stuff. Um, I also remap uh, backspace. Yeah, I forgot to mention that, that I uh, uh, realized when, when I got this keyboard that I actually use uh, delete constantly when I'm programming and stuff. Uh, so <laughs> I had to fix that by uh, remapping backspace to uh, shift backspace to delete. And that's done like this. And here you can see you have to do this first, but whatever. It's not, you see, it's a very small uh, configuration, quite easy to understand how it works. And there's a good man page uh, that comes with the program. So not difficult to figure out how it works. Um, and I tried it, it works in the vir virtual console and everything. But one thing it couldn't do was uh, the Swedish characters. It seems, since it works on this uh, kernel level, it uses some, uh, uh, this Linux input event codes. This is where uh, all the keys are, are declared in a way. Uh, and it, it, it doesn't have like foreign characters and stuff like that. So it might have some, but not the, not the Swedish ones. Um, 
So it didn't work um, because that's another thing I had was uh, holding this key and then pressing the Swedish characters here would enter them instead of the US uh, uh, characters that would be printed. Um, so I couldn't do that and that was a bit annoying. Um, but I settled on a solution where, uh, because there exists a default uh, um, keyboard layout that's called Swedish US. But it is actually the US keyboard layout, just as I'm using now. But you got the Swedish characters if you hold Alt Graphic here, uh, or Alt GR, which is always present on, on, on Nordic keyboards. Uh, and then you can print these uh, uh, Swedish characters while holding this. And that is something I used in the past and that, that has worked fine as well. So I thought, why not just use that default unmodified uh, layout, Swedish US, and then apply uh, the rest of the functionality with, with key D. And that was worked fine. Everything was working very well, except that that Swedish uh, US layout, that doesn't exist in, um, in the virtual console uh, keyboard layout system. So there you can only set like Swedish or US. Uh, there's no, yeah, that, that layout didn't exist. Uh, but I thought, hey, maybe, maybe it just, uh, maybe, there is, maybe there exists a layout, you know. Um, when you change these, uh, you can change both uh, the X and, and the virtual console layout with the same command here. Load CTL set key map. Um, so this is what I did and this is when I almost broke <laughs> my computer and called my mom to cancel the meeting. So uh, load local CTL uh, help. We can see uh, there are a bunch of, you can set uh, the key map and you can set X11 key map and you can also set both key maps with this, uh, both the X11 and uh, the virtual console. Uh, if, you, if you use this it will only set uh, the virtual console or only x11 otherwise it, it will try to guess the other one based on the layout you have declared uh, and um, that is what I did I, I just set that uh, Swedish US and then it guessed that I wanted Swedish in the virtual console and I don't want that uh, but you can also list key maps so if we do that, we will see all available uh, virtual console key maps here, and as you can see, there's uh, there's a lot of them. Um, and uh, so so we grep for Sweden. No, we grep for Sweden. And then I found these uh, beautiful uh, <laughs> key maps. Uh, now try try them. You know, first I try this. And then it was like, yeah, that seems like the normal Swedish one. I think that's uh, this one. And then I tried this one, IR209. I have no idea what it is. Uh, it was like, oh, this is weird. I got some really strange characters uh, when I use this one. But the, most of the keys seem normal. But some was like, hmm, this is weird. I wonder what this really is, you know. But none of them was like that uh, US layout with a Swedish layer. Then, for some reason, I, because I'm an idiot, that's the reason. I try this one, Mac-SE, and apply that. And you do, I applied it like system-wide, you know, you do, you have to use sudo to apply this and it, it will actually create a, a configuration file where it, where it um, enters this. Uh, that layout, this layout, Mac SE, that is, I, it's probably for Macintosh keyboards or something like that because all the keys were completely mixed up and some of them I couldn't find them. For example, the Enter key. <laughs> I couldn't press Enter with this layout, uh, meaning I couldn't do anything. And I was in the virtual console while, <laughs> while I was trying this, so I couldn't couldn't get out of there, you know. So I was uh, had to make a, make a hard reboot, <laughs> pressing the power button. Uh, computer reboots, fine, works fine, nice, uh, but apparently system D will read these uh, virtual console key mappings before you log in. So when I got to the login prompt, uh, this, uh, <laughs> this key map was still active, uh, meaning I couldn't enter my username. I couldn't figure out how to uh, enter BUD into the terminal. Uh, and uh, I couldn't press enter anyway. So what I had to do was uh, create a live USB <laughs> and uh, delete that configuration file. 
to reset uh, the default US layout. And there's where I, that's where I'm at uh, right now. Uh, and I think I will stick there, uh, stick with that because in the virtual console, uh, it it doesn't matter if I cannot uh, type the Swedish characters. Actually, I, I realize that I will never do that. Probably, I can't think of a time when I have done that. Uh, you know, you, you mostly just enter commands there. You know, uh, it's not like I'm typing a, a mail to my friends or whatever, which is when I'm using Swedish characters. It's extremely rarely nowadays that I that I do uh, use these characters, and never in the virtual console so i would just use the the us layout but with the, the the key d configuration applied so that solved a bunch of issues there and i will keep this uh, uh, keyboard for a little while longer now um, it's also i don't know some people might uh, how, what, what do you say uh, um, re out loud here but the uh, uh, it comes with a system D unit, uh, and I, I think it kind of feels nice that it just applies this uh, layout automatically for all these these options automatically with system D. If it for some reason would crash, it will restart it and stuff like that. Uh, because I those who have watched my last videos here with i3 from scratch, uh, you have seen that I have uh, had to enter a couple of times the command that I used uh, to enable my custom layout so I could use caps lock for escape and stuff like that. That should now probably never uh, happen since it will get restarted if it breaks and, and stuff like that. And it's it also works with multiple keyboards and you can have independent key uh, uh, configurations for for different keyboards and stuff like that and i think i will uh, create one because it is a bit annoying that the tilde the escape key is remapped to the tilde key on the laptop and i use the laptop keyboard quite often also and i uh, find myself constantly pressing escape uh, expecting escape but i get a tilde because here uh, it doesn't really make any sense since I have the tilde key uh, in quotation marks here. Uh, whatever, you can make individual uh, uh, layouts very easily with this key D and it seems to be a great program and it seems to be like um, the, the developer uh, is uh, constantly uh, improving it here quite actively. Uh, yeah, it is brand new. It's like one month old here. So definitely something to to try if if you have similar issues or setups as i do and i recommend it just for this remapping getting a layer so you can use h-a-k-l as arrow key emulation uh, that makes a lot of sense uh, in my opinion all right i think uh, that that can be this video um let's not talk about why i'm using vivaldi